people who are in their 20s still watching this will not agree with any of our opinions. At least boomers. <laughs> Anyone over 30 is a boomer. Hi, I'm Claudia Restrepo and I'm a producer on The End of Us. Hi, I'm Gabriel Delorbe and I play Hector. I'm Ben Coleman. I am playing Nick Ball. I'm Ali Vingiano and I play Leah. And I'm Derek DeBlasis. And I play Tim in The End of Us. And my boyfriend and I broke up right before quarantine started. I just can't be around her anymore. Oh, there's this guy trying to get with my ex-girlfriend. Yeah, there were parts of it where we broke the social distancing rules. Would you mind stepping back a little bit? We're trying to keep a six foot distance thing going on here. Today we're here to talk about some wildly unpopular dating opinions. Let's go. Unless it's a special occasion, like someone's birthday, the check should be split evenly, no matter who asked who out. A cost of a date shouldn't always be split evenly. Like if I invite or somebody invites me, they should pay. If you ask someone out, you should offer to pay. Yeah, I think that's like the classic etiquette. But like, rules are meant to be broken. I pay most of the time, I ain't gonna lie. I guess that's probably an outdated way of thinking now. But what about you're like two months into dating somebody? And I think it's right to start to split splitting. or do one on, one off. I like that. Is it okay for someone to want to be exclusive after only two dates? Not in this day and age. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. when we met on Tinder, like, I'm going on another date right after this one. Who am I to tell someone that their wants aren't valid? If you want to be exclusive after two dates, that's you fair. do you. That's fair. Are you going to have a hard time out there? Yes. There are no rules. Like, look, are we living in a Shakespearean play? That would be a red flag for me. I think you got to have the, the conversation. Like, yo, you seeing anybody? Like, what are your intentions? When do you start asking those questions right away? If I just want to have fun and I don't want anything serious, I tell them right, right then and there, listen, to be honest with you, I'm not looking for something serious. I'm going to start dating, like, down in January. What? If someone says that after two dates to me, am I gonna see them again? Probably not. Is it appropriate to ask if someone wants kids by the third date? It depends on how old this person is. Yeah, I mean like that conversation has come up like on a third date. Like, oh, do you want do you want kids? Well, but by the third date, you don't know you're gonna marry this person. But you know you won't marry them if they don't wanna have kids, if that's your thing. I feel like someone asking me on a third date if I wanna have kids is like my fantasy. You could ask in the first date. You're not being like, Do you want kids or not? Is that I yeah. Jerry. like Just... I want kids in like in January. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big month for you. <laughs> Quarantining with your ex is impossible. No. It's possible. We've all done it. I'm single, so I didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> but a lot of people did it, and a lot of them yeah. are still alive. Well, I did that in real life. It is possible. Is it enjoyable? Uh, nah, I'm good. I'd rather have a dog in my house. The talking stage is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. The talking stage? I don't know what that is. It's like when you're talking to someone. It's like we're not dating, we're just talking. You could go on the first you're, two you're days, they're talking. You're entertaining, you're entertaining it, yes, a relationship. To see if they're okay. gonna... If it's gonna work. Yes. What the f***? <laughs> Well, that's bull Talking is not stupid. I think talking is necessary. What if they're obsessed with you in the beginning, like the first week, kissing you every five minutes? I would like that, personally. <laughs> really? In the, first, in the first week? First week, hugging and squeezing. <laughs> that's what a relationship is based on. Now saying I love you. No, 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 no. Casual hookups are a waste of time and mental capacity. No, but also like maybe, like it could be for you. All of it's interacting with somebody and learning what you like and don't like and what you'll put up with and what. Do you think there's a fine line? The fine line. What's the fine line? The fine line is you could get used to like always hooking up with somebody. Or, oh, that's very you true. Know, and then you're like, I'm so used to yeah. not connecting with the person. Yeah, no, that's true. It might be a waste of mental capacity, like if you're overthinking things. The more you date, the more you you have lived life experience. Hooking up with an ex does not mean you're getting back together. Yeah, it does not mean you're getting back together. Yeah. Most of the time. Have you ever slept with an ex after you broke up? Yeah. You can hook up with an ex multiple times. And it will still mean you're not getting and back together. And it doesn't mean you're getting back together. It sounds like you've done it plenty of times, Ben. Thank you, BuzzFeed. This was fun. Make sure to check out The End of Us in theaters December 3rd.